So you want to get mods in Minecraft 1.18.2. Well, this video is going to show you how to download mods, how to install mods, and how to play Minecraft with awesome mods, like some of the B-roll we're showing on your screen right now. This is a variety of different Minecraft mods. All can be played in Minecraft using the same method that we're using here, which is downloading and installing some awesome Minecraft mods. The thing we aren't going to be doing in this video is getting fours. You can find the second link in the description down below, which will take you here. This is our in-depth guide on how to download and install Forge for Minecraft 1.18.2. Now, I know this is 1.18.1 here, but the .2 tutorial will be out right before this video you're watching now comes out, and uh, thus it's not here yet, but by the time you're here, it will be here. Nevertheless, though, the text tutorial is up to date, and we'll show you exactly how to get Forge for 1.18.2 if you'd rather use that instead of the video. It's kind of up to you which one you use, but we are assuming you've already gotten Forge installed before you start this video. If you do have Forge, let's go ahead and download some mods. Now for this video, we're going to be using just enough items, Xeros Minimap, and Iron Chest, but this will work for any 1.18.2 Forge mods. There are also fabric mods, and if you want to see how to use fabric mods, you can check out the eye at the top of your screen, and that's your tutorial on fabric mods. It's a similar process, you just need a different mod loader other than Forge here, right? So Forge is what you need for Forge mods, fabric is what you need for fabric mods. And sadly, they can't be used together. However, Let's go ahead and download just enough items. Now you can find a link to this page in the description down below. Every mod we download and install in this video is in the description down below, as well as our Forge tutorial and a tutorial on how to fix broken Minecraft mods should you have any issues with them. Nevertheless though, once you're on this page for just enough items, scroll down, click the yellow download button, and that will take you off to just enough items official download page on CurseForge. Come over here to the right hand side, scroll down, and make sure you're downloading the just enough items 1.18.2 version under Minecraft 1.18. See that? 1.18.2. Make sure you're downloading that version version because you need the dot two version for it to work with Forge 1.18.2. While that's downloading though, have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Host, and go to the first link down below the breakdown .xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We love just Apex so much that we have our own server, play our breakdowncraft.com on them. And the great thing about Apex is they make starting a modded server super easy. Whether it's a server that just has your mods on it that you're installing using this video, or whether it's an entire mod pack like RL Craft or Sky Factory, you can install either one of those in just a few clicks. With Apex Minecraft hosting. So check them out again at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, just enough items is downloaded in the bottom left. You may need to keep or save the file depending on your browser. Repeat the process with Xeros Minimap. Scroll down, click the download button, and we're going to look at the right hand side and scroll down again. However, this time, you want to make sure we're downloading it for Forge 1.18.x, which I know is weird, but basically, for some mods, they will work for 1.18, 1.18.1, and 1.18.2 Forge all with the same version. So that is something to keep in mind. And if you see like a .x, that's okay. Go ahead, download that, and the download will begin after a few seconds. Last is Iron Chest. This mod's different in its own right. Scroll down and click the yellow download button, of course. But once you're here, this is where things get a little interesting. If we look at the right-hand side and scroll down, you'll notice there's no mention of 1.18.x. It just says 1.18. I know because I tested it, Iron Chests work in Minecraft 1.18.2. However, that might not be the case for every mod. So click on the orange download button on this one, you're good to go. But if you do download a mod that doesn't specifically mention 1.18.2 and your Minecraft doesn't work, that's because of that mod. Go remove that mod. The rest of your mods will probably work if they're 1.18.2 specific. Nevertheless, though, we can finally minimize our browser, and we need to get these mods to our desktop just for ease of use. To do that, click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen, or in the center of your screen on Windows 11. Type in Downloads. Do this Downloads file folder here. And in here, you'll find all of your mods. Drag and drop these to your desktop for ease of use. Nevertheless, once these are on your desktop, we can go ahead and get them installed. Do this by opening up the Minecraft launcher, right like so. And when you're in the Minecraft launcher, you should already have Forge. We, like I said, already assume you have Forge with this tutorial. So if you don't have a Forge profile set up, you need to go to the description down below and go through this guide here. Super simple, walks you through everything in depth, all the issues you could have, it solves them for you. And then finally, once you come back, you'll be able to select your Forge version, right? Now I have two Forge versions. I have the Forge version here and one I've created myself in that tutorial. Either one works. Go ahead and select it. Click play. Click play again to confirm you're playing mod in Minecraft. And that's the hard part. Honestly, the hardest part is opening up Minecraft with Forge. If you can do that, you're going to be amazed with how easy it is to install mods. 
Nevertheless, I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick jump cut and I'll meet you on the Minecraft main menu with Forge installed. And just like that, here we are with Minecraft open with Forge. How do you know it's Forge? Well, we're currently, sorry to miss it, Forge is in beta at the top, so that's how. But in the bottom left, you can also see Forge down here. That's another way to know if Forge isn't in beta. And hopefully it's not. The, if it's not in beta, that means it's a lot more stable. Which is here though, go ahead and click on mods and then go ahead and click on open mods folder in the bottom left. That's gonna open up your mods folder here where all you need to do is drag and drop any mods you want to install. And again, this works for all 1.18.2 Forge mods, even if they aren't mentioned specifically in this video. However, if you want to find new mods, go ahead and subscribe because we post a ton of mod-specific tutorials. It's a great way to not only see how to install those mods, but how to find new incredible Minecraft mods. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and close out of the mods folder, and uh, they're not here. And they're never going to be here until we click done and quit the game. We then want to open up the Minecraft launcher again, again making sure we're playing Minecraft with that Forge profile, right? So either the one that was there by default or the one you created from our video. Either way, doesn't matter as long as it says Forge in the bottom left here. Click play, confirm you're playing mod in Minecraft again, and now Minecraft 1.18.2 is going to open up with our Forge mods installed. It's that easy to get Minecraft Forge mods in 1.18.2. It is also worth noting that it may take a while to open up Minecraft when you first install mods, and even after you've had your mods installed, it can still take a while. That's just because Minecraft is not only loading Minecraft, but also the mods, right? So it has to do all of that. If we click on mods here, we have Xero's minimap, Iron Chest, and just enough items. Awesome. We can then jump into my uh, preloaded world here that has Iron Chest set up, so you can see that, and then uh, Xero's minimap and just enough items, they just kind of work. There's nothing that needs to really be set up for those. So we jump in here and boom, there we go. There is Iron Chest. So we've got a little bit of lag happening. Hold on, see if we can work out that lag. So it is not perfect, but it is a little less laggy, but you can see kind of some of the features of Iron Chest here. As you can see, Iron Chest there. This is a gold chest. Then you've got a diamond chest, crystal chest, obsidian chest, and um, my favorite, the dirt chest. All you can put in here is dirt, as you can see. And you can't put more than 64 either. It's literally just a chest for 64 dirt. But on the right-hand side here, we have all of our different stuff that you can see that you can craft in Minecraft with just enough items. For example, that's how to craft all that stuff. But what if you wanted to craft a crystal chest, right? It's going to show you how to do that. We've got the crystal chest and a trapped crystal chest. You can see you need a diamond chest, you need a gold chest, you need an iron chest, and you can put iron around a normal chest to be able to make a iron chest, which can then be upgraded and all that stuff. However, what if you want to make an upgrade? Well, here's how you can make an upgrade. It's all there, and one of the things I absolutely love about Just Enough Items is how it works with other mods. If we look up in the top left up here, we can see that Just Enough Items, or that Xero's minimap is in fact working. It's showing us what's going on. If we go ahead and I believe, is it M? Is that what it is, or is it O? What is, uh, one second. It is Y, if we hit Y, we can turn the minimap on and off, we can change some of the settings in here, and we can set waypoints. For example, if we wanted to add in iron chests, and then we'll go ahead and make this like a uh, gray for iron chest. Click done, done, back, and there it is. There's where our iron chests are, and that will now forever be marked. Uh, we can run away from it, it's, it's, it's gonna stay there, right? You can see it through blocks, all of that stuff. And up here in the minimap, you can see the eye up there marking iron chest. So yeah, that's how you can get mods in Minecraft 1.18.2, like iron chest, like X-Zero's minimap, and like just enough items. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments. We're more than happy to help you out, and come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. I'll see you in the next video.